Can we have the next question from the sister? I have a question here from a non-Muslim sister, but she's not, uh, she don't want to come in front. Okay, we will accept here once. A non-Muslim sister has accepted Islam. She believes in one God and prayers, but she cannot tell her family as it is will endanger her life. Her family wants her to marry a non-Muslim. If she marries a non-Muslim, does that make her a non-believer again? The sister has said that she believes in Islam, she believes in one God, she has become a Muslim. But her family doesn't like it and family wants to force her to marry a non-Muslim. So does that make her an unbeliever? It's clearly mentioned in the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 221, that do not marry an unbelieving woman. Do not marry an idolatress until she believes. A believing woman is far superior than an idolatress, even if she allows you. And the verse continues, do not marry an unbelieving man, an idolater, until he believes. A believing man is far superior than an idolater. So marrying a non-Muslim according to verse of the Quran, a person who does shirk, is prohibited. It's not allowed in Islam. If she has accepted Islam and she believes that Islam is the right religion, she believes in one God and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Messenger, then she should marry a Muslim only. If she marries a non-Muslim, it's not allowed in Islam. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. When are you going to England next to give the word of peace? to all the Londoners and when would you like to clear your name and what are you doing about it to go there?